Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a special topic for those interested in the legal realm. We are diving into order second of the Code of Civil Procedure which lays down rules for framing suits in legal proceedings. It might sound a bit complex but don't worry, we will break it down in simple terms for you. First up, the purpose of a suit. According to Order 2nd, every legal proceeding should be framed to ensure a final decision on the matters in dispute and to prevent any unnecessary future litigation. The idea is to resolve the issues comprehensively. Moving on to Rule 2, it emphasizes that the plaintiff must include entire claim in one suit related to a specific cause of action. But there is an interesting twist here. The plaintiff can give up or relinquish a part of the claim intentionally to bring the suit to a particular court's jurisdiction. However, once you have let go intentionally, you cannot come back later seeking that part of the claim. Now let's talk about Rule 3. It allows the plaintiffs to combine multiple causes of action against the same defendant in one suit. The court's jurisdiction in such cases is determined by the total value of all the issues combined in the suit. Rule 4 deals with the claims for immovable property. Generally, other causes of action should not be joined with a suit for recovery of immovable property without the court's permission. But there are exceptions such as claims for rent arrears, damages due to contract breach related to the property or the relief sought is based on the same cause of action. Moving on to Rule 5. It states that claims involving executors, administrators or heirs personally should not be combined with the estate related matters unless they are connected. It aims to keep personal and estate related matters distinct. Rule 6 gives the court the authority to order separate trials if it believes that joining multiple causes of action might lead to delays or prove inconvenient. This is to ensure a smoother legal process. Finally, Rule 7 highlights the importance of raising objections related to the misjoinder of causes of action early in the legal process. If not raised promptly, such objections may be considered waived. And there you have it. A comprehensive overview of Order 2nd of the Code of Civil Procedure. These rules are in place to streamline the legal proceedings, ensuring a fair and efficient resolution of disputes. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.